Hello everyone, my name is Dan Jertson and I'm an educator working for the University of Minnesota within the Urban Forestry Outreach and Research Lab. And today we are out in our nursery and educational space to look at a hackberry tree that has some girdling roots. And the way we're going to address this girdling root issue is using an air spade, which is a common tool used to remove soil from around the base of a tree without harming the tree in order to locate the girdling roots so that you can remove them. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at the tree, the hackberry, and show some of the girdling roots, and then we'll go on to talk about some of the tools that we're going to use through this process. So here's the hackberry, and I wanted to point out a couple of things before we get started with the air spade work. So if you look on this side of the tree, emanating out from the trunk are some beautiful main order roots flaring out, right? And that's what you want to see. So coming around to the other side of the tree here, we no longer have that flare. It's more that the stem is just going straight down into the soil. And even beyond that, this section right here has a bulge to it, and it's almost going back in. And this right here is a really good indicator that there is most likely a stem girdling root below the soil surface. And sure enough, right here is one of the stem girdling roots. Once we get in here with the air spade and start blowing the soil away, we may find more, but we know that for sure there's one right here. This particular stem girdling root that we just looked at hasn't caused any issues to this tree yet, but eventually we would start to see dieback in the upper canopy and that would work its way down further because that girdling root is preventing water and nutrients moving through the vasculature. So by addressing this issue and removing that stem girdling root, we're ensuring that this tree can grow in the landscape much longer. The tool that we're gonna be using to excavate around the base of this tree is called an air spade. And here's a very common air spade out in use. And the idea is that this is hooked up to a compressor, which feeds air in through this hose. And it's enough air pressure to be blasting away soil from around the base of the tree. You could use a shovel to just hand excavate. It's a process that's more time consuming. And then there's the potential that you might damage roots while you're using the shovel around the base. So this tool, ensures that you're removing soil without damaging the tree. When you're using an air spade, it does get very messy. So I would recommend utilizing a respirator. This one also has a face shield on it. If you just have the respirator around the mouth area, then you can use a flip down visor, which would protect your eyes and your face from debris. Hearing protection is a must. And then once we have the soil blown away and we're exposing those girdling roots, a chisel and then a hammer is a great um, combo of tools to use to be extracting those girdling roots from the base of the tree. What do you say we fire this compressor up and start blasting some soil away?
Now that we've blown the soil away from the base of the tree, we can see a number of problematic roots. These ones right on the top are pretty small and will be causing issues down the road. So I'm going to begin this um, girdling root extraction by removing these smaller ones with either a hand pruner or a lopper. So there were several kind of surface future girdling roots in this whole area that I've removed to expose this more problematic one. And now maybe there's a couple others further down that might be an issue. So I'm going to turn the air compressor back on and we'll blast some more soil away just to expose what's underneath. So after all that excavation, now we've really clearly identified that this is our main issue. Stem girdling root causing constriction on this stem. Assuming that this root right here is emanating out from the trunk. So trying to maintain this. Similarly, right here, this is probably the root that would form a flare, but it's being constricted by this girdling root. So we'll maintain this tissue and this one with trying to sever both ends of this stem girdling root with the chisel. And it's important to create space between each side when you remove tissue so that there isn't regrafting of this root. So I've completed the root pruning on this tree at this point, and I wanted to note the space that I've created on both sides of this stem girdling root, ensuring that there is no regrafting that happens. We can most certainly revisit this tree in the future if there are more stem girdling roots that cause issues, but for now, this is sufficient. And for any other type of stem girdling roots on other trees and questioning how many of them to remove, just take into account tree species, so slower growing trees, remove less, faster growing trees, you could count on removing more, and tree maturity. So younger trees could take more root pruning versus more mature trees. And lastly, you can always revisit the tree in the future and take care of more stem girdling roots. And this completes our video on stem girdling root extraction, showcasing the use of an air spade. Join us next time.